Yeah, like the fact that this did not light up. I think she's dead, Jim. That's just gonna overheat. All right, let's take a look. See what we got going on back here. The hell is this? I need to figure out where this power is actually going. Oh yeah. Bike lock and kickstand. Yeah. All right, I guess we need to see the cabling, so we're gonna take, there we go. Hey, good morning, Tech Life. Uh, it's not clogged. It's it's not spinning at all. So we're gonna remove it. All of the cabling for this is just like right here. And what I need to figure out. So there's a CPU fan. So wait, all of the power from this is coming from the RGB header. That seems like a mistake. Let's see if this works now. Yeah, 20 bucks says the pump is gonna work now. This might be the shortest fix ever. All right, let's try this again. I can actively hear the pump starting up now. So that's a, that's a plus. And I can feel liquid flowing through the cooler.
All right, so let's see if that CPU temperature starts climbing randomly again. So we can see the pump actually has a speed now. Whereas before is uh, now this thing is climbing incredibly quickly. Yeah, this should not be this hot. All right, we got to dig deeper. Yeah, all right, new CPU cooler. All right, let's replace the cooler. After we got a bracket like adhesive to the back a little bit, and you can't see that at all. We got the bracket put on here. And on this side, we put in a single screw. For this socket, the There's three different types of screws that you can use with this. So you have the short stubby guy, then you have the dual length one. And you can see there's a little line running down the center of it. And then there's one that doesn't have a line running down the center of it. And that's the ones we're using. Those nice and nice and firm, but finger tight. All right, now we're going to put this guy together. And as always, when we when we eventually do put this in the case, we're going to use the washers because the original build for this thing did not use washers, and it was pulling through. Let's see what we're at for cooling now. Hey look, the CPU temperature is not at 70. All right, so after replacement, we can see our thermals are peachy. We'll let this, like as before, even sitting in the BIOS, this number would just climb exponentially. So. We can call up the uh, Mr. Eric here and tell him his computer is ready. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. 
If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about my services, check out bradensonpcrepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.